This video is from my man Simon here, and we're looking for the default engine.ini. Real quick before we get started here, if you're not sure where your project is stored on your hard drive, all you have to do is hover over the image for your project, and you'll see there it says path, and you just have to go to that destination, and from there we're going to go to a config folder where we will find all of our .ini files that we're looking for. So real quick, we're just going to swipe down here, get all this text and copy it, and then we're going to move on over to our folder which has all of our projects in it and we're going to click on the blank one here go into config and you'll see all the config these are all the ini files that we're going to be referencing here and what we're going to do is we're going to open these up i personally use notepad plus plus it's free and it's a great program so if you need to just right click open there you'll see notepad plus plus and then you see all this code don't worry we're not getting into anything deep here uh, basically what we're looking for is the uh, the text that we, we copied we just want to make sure that it's not here already and you'll see here when I paste it in that we get some purple headers now basically what we want to do is just make sure that these purple headers are not already somewhere in this INI file and I do believe there should only be the one so what we'll do is we'll start with the top one here the steam net driver at the top and we're just going to scroll up real quick take a look and there it is so we'll grab this text go back up and we'll just paste it underneath here now you'll see there's two lines with the exact same text and we're just going to remove the duplicate that we had copied in because I don't like those quotes that were added in. Don't know if they're supposed to be there, but we're gonna keep the one that's original. So now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and remove this because we no longer need it. We just put it in and added the details. Second part we're gonna do here is we're gonna look for these next two purple headers, which I took a look before this and I didn't see them in here, but I'm just gonna double check and I don't see them. So we'll find a spot up here that's uh, organized. I think we'll do it right underneath the same section we were just working on that is the steam net driver so we'll do that so we'll just click at the end right where it says 1000 press enter twice control V and we're done so it's all separated it's all nice it can be read by the uh, program I guess and we'll delete those and we're gonna hit save Okay, now that we've done that, we'll go back to this web page and we're going to grab these lines of text. And these are for the default game.ini. So, real quick, scroll over, copy, back to our config files, default game. And same thing, we're just going to make sure it's not already here. This one's nice and simple. There's uh, only two purple headers that I can see. So, we'll drop these in and we'll hit save. And that should be it. Okay, so real quick, we'll just fire up a quick, uh, quick playthrough here. Reno, and we'll do some multiplayer. That looks good. All right, game loads in. Client window looks fine. All right, so first impressions, nothing's uh, nothing's broken, but let's package it and make sure it'll still package. So we'll go here, I'll do shipping, and we'll just make a temporary folder. Something like dev test delete me to or something. Yeah, that works. Cool, cool. So go in, let me select, all that boring stuff. She's packaging, and we'll come back in a sec and see if it worked. Okay, should just be finishing up. Any second now. Bueller. Bueller. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's see the output log, make sure it worked. And we're good. 
exit code zero success beauty hope this helps man um if this isn't like the final fix at least if the fix is in the ini files you kind of have an idea of where you're looking and and what to do and all that jazz so i hope this helps man and i really hope your uh project ends up working out for you because uh i feel your pain there 100 percent, man anyways cheers for now and i'll catch you in the discord